Hey, Beesauce, Rando here. Coffee's out there ready. Tasks are set and we are ready to rumble. So right now, the only thing you can do is just pick up and just kind of hold items like this. Makes switching tools a little bit tedious. Like I do kind of like it, but why sacrifice the fun? So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is create the inventory UI. Oh, also I've decided to completely eat the quest system. Someone pointed out in the comments that it's almost just as fun just not having any direction at all. And it's easier to do, so I don't have to make quests. That's a win-win in my books. So we're gonna place that with a uh, inventory. There we go. But let me figure out the layout real quick. I guess first I need to actually do the equipment. So let's make a new item and figure out how to equip it. Another day, another piece of programmer art. So we'll go about this size and just draw in some fucking nonsense. There we go, it's a tool belt. <laughs> By the way, lads, if you would like to support development, both funding-wise and pointing me in the right direction when it comes to what to work on next, doing playtesting, all that kind of stuff, then I'll leave a link to my Patreon page down in the description. I've just gone and set up a few different tiers over there. I reckon the first real step when it comes to funding is getting another programmer to help work on this with me. Because while as much as I love programming, it's really not my strong suit. And finding someone whose strong suit it is, 100% all the way, then uh, that's really gonna speed things up. Anyway, that's enough rambling for me. Let's get back to it. So let's add in a new item. We almost wanna craft this out of like hide. Goblin hide. So let's add two new items as well. So the fiber will be another like base resource, like the flint or the wood. Just make it look like a string thing <laughs> for now. Uh, is it E-R or R-E? I guess it depends where you live. I think I'm gonna pay homage to the queen. And the goblin hide make like a, I don't know, good enough. <laughs> so we'll change this drop to be Goblin Hide. And we also ideally want to give like a random amount. So we'll drop a variable amount here. Now when we kill Gobby, now we got Goblin Hide. We need a way of getting the fiber. So Freddy has already provided us with tall grass. We'll grab this one. Basically just do the same thing as the tree roots, except we get grass. And this guy is gonna drop fiber. And there we go. Um, you know, ideally you would not just punch it, but <laughs> for now that's that's good enough. So now that we got that, we should literally be able to create the tool belt. I mean, this already has the debug on it, so we can just build it without any of the materials. But now we've got the tool belt. Okay, so when you pick it up, um, I'm basically just gonna like equip it onto the player straight away. So we kinda need to have some data about like, what's equipped. Equipped items. And we'll just hard slap 16 in there. And we'll add in a new property. Equipable. Gotta double check the spelling. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it game dev dot that. It's such an inconsequential thing. So I don't I don't, I don't even fucking care. I don't, I don't want to know the answer. So I got this whole entity props idea from Brian. Mr. Flurry. Um, and it's basically like flags, but you can just have more than 64. So I just made it like a generic data structure. It's kind of looks complicated, but it's dead simple. It's just a growing enum, and say if the enum is like, there's a hundred entries in the enum, it'll basically create an array of U64s, like two of them, right? Um, so we have the first 64 and then the remainder for the rest of the hundred. And then, yeah, we can just set the props, check if it has props, unset the props, all that kind of stuff. Basically the same as flags, but can grow past 64, which I'm sure this will eventually. <laughs> God, this interaction state is a mess. There we go. So now it's on the player. We can see it equipped over here. This will just list out what we've got on. All right, let's kick off the day with a little bit of morning synthesis. I've been learning how to use synths recently using Centorial 2. The general idea, you have a sound and you're just basically trying to recreate that. Give me five minutes to figure this out. I am now an apprentice. Woo! It's just like a tiny little bit each day. Just like one lesson a day. It's nuts how much that can get you. And I guess the exact same thing applies to game dev. So today what I want to get done is the hotbar slots for the tool belt and just getting the whole like equip tool belt, unequip tool belt, equip sword, equip everything. Just want to get that workboy down pat. Oh, I just went straight into the flow there for like fucking 30 minutes and I forgot to put Brain FM on. 
I knew something was missing. All right, let's fucking get it. Man, hot reloading for working on UI would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> Spends the next week trying to make the entire code base hot reloadable. All right, boys. So I've kind of been struggling over the last few days to really nail down what this inventory system is all about. Uh, I went through like a couple different iterations. The first one being overcomplicated as shit as always, but I think I've stripped it down to its, to its essence. So press tab, go into the inventory. You've got two hotbar slots here and these hotbars, they function similar to what Arc does. So if we pick up an item here, uh, this is like our inventory list. So we can just pick up a bunch of different things, right? What you do is you can pick it up and then you can put it in the hotbar. Now it doesn't actually, the hotbars aren't actually slots you can store things in. It's more like a reference to what you've got in, in your inventory, which might be a little bit confusing, but we'll see how that pans out in the playtesting. For example, I could like throw this out and it disappears from the hotbar as well, right? I also added kind of like a simple weight system uh, so basically this guy right here, like this chunk of wood, it just weighs like one unit and you could basically pick up another piece and it just, you know, now we've got two in our inventory. So it weighs two, three, blah, blah, blah. Items can have like different weights. So for example, this ax, it weighs two. Yeah, I actually just used my hot bar to chop down a tree. How useful. <laughs> uh, but this log, for example, uh, well, it, it, it should weigh three, but it doesn't weigh three. So that's a bit awkward. <laughs> But that would be a lot more weight, right? So you'd, you'd kind of be full. Uh, and the general idea is like you upgrade how much weight you can carry throughout the game by equipping different items or you know, maybe making like permanent base upgrades to your character just to stop it from being like a bit of a bottomless pit, right? So yeah, I guess we will see how that pans out. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to re-implement this equipment system because right now this belt doesn't do anything. Like I don't have a way of displaying the equipped items. Let's go work on that. So the next question is, do I make the equipped items separate from the inventory? Should probably not, because then we can do things like, oh, well, you know, iron armor, it weighs a lot and it's heavy, so you're kind of sacrificing inventory space for more protection, stuff like that. It actually gives you a reason to make lightweight armor. So that can be interesting. But also be a lot easier that way, because we can basically say, hey, we're gonna pick this up, it's gonna go into the inventory, and then whilst it's in the inventory, you just like click a little equip button or some shit. That's what Valheim does, so yoink. So I think what I kind of want to do is just put it straight in the inventory there, and then we just right click it and it'll equip. There we go. So now what I can do with that is basically when this guy is equipped, we can go ahead and do anything. Oh, my bad, my bad. Got the boss. Increase the hot pass slots. Let's go. Well, that feels like a pretty good first pass to the inventory slash equipment system to me. All right, lads. Thanks for tuning into this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and leave a dislike.